back to my channel and I'm here to show you a meal prep that I do to um, take some lunches to, to work and not spend so much money on fast food. And it's really healthy. For me, uh, it, I've seen a difference between eating out and, um, and having these meal preps. So what I start with is half a cup of quinoa and half a cup of brown rice just to mix it up not just have I prefer having half and half and this meal prep is gonna be ground turkey brown rice and asparagus so here I'm pouring the brown rice half a cup you guys need to try it don't use don't just use brown rice use quinoa and brown rice and you'll love it so now I'm gonna put two and a half cups of water And then I'm gonna put a half a tablespoon of coconut oil so it won't be too like hard or, or like dry I rather do that and let's put it on the stove top for um, a couple of minutes you could say maybe it takes like 20 minutes and you put it make sure it boils and then put it on medium and then you cover it and now let's do the ground turkey we're gonna put it on the pan let it fry a little bit while we do my side dish that will be asparagus we are gonna I didn't show it on the video but I, I did go back and forth and moving it around and make sure it, it cooks right so now I have here a bag of two pounds of asparagus I'm gonna use two pounds because I do actually have two meal preps and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this bag and um, start chopping well make sure you wash them and then you cut the ends, the dry ends. And you cut the dry ends. Let's see. Yeah, first I tried to do it with my hands. But I know it was a lot of asparagus. So I just chopped it off. Chop them off. There you go. And then I'm going to chop them in pieces. Sometimes I do them in pieces. Sometimes I do them whole. But it's easier to grill them or fry them in little pieces instead of whole pieces of asparagus. I'm going to put them in this little container because I need to chop the onions. Okay. Now I have my little onion and I'm going to use the whole onion for this bag of asparagus. Okay. Chop it up in little tiny pieces. Make sure you guys, if you're interested in more recipes, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below so I could see that you guys are interested and I'll surely make more recipes and more videos. So here I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to add the onion. I'm going to add it. <laughs> Add the whole onion. Yummy. And then I'm going to put a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. I think it's going to be a tablespoon and a half. Because I think I went back and got more because I love garlic. And that bottle is minced garlic. I bought it at Costco. I love that huge bottle. And then we're going to add the asparagus. Make sure you kind of grill it a little bit. Not too much. Because you don't want the garlic to burn. Um, you add the asparagus, mix it up. Yummy. Looks so good. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is it's a little bit better, it's more cooked now. And I'm gonna add some ground pepper. I really don't have an exact measurement. And then I'm gonna add some Himalayan pink salt. Like I said, it's probably like a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. It's probably also a half a tablespoon. And just mix it up and let it grill some more. Or let it cook some more. And now I'm gonna add to the ground turkey, it's ready to go, so it's diced uh, diced tomatoes, organic diced tomatoes that I bought at uh, Costco. And 
I just mix that up. And then some a can of garbanzo beans. Love garbanzo beans. Okay. Mix that up. And then just let it let it sit for a little bit, let it cook. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the garlic. I'm gonna put actually a tablespoon and a half of garlic, minced garlic. Okay, yeah, I did a tablespoon and a half. I love garlic, as I told you guys before. Everything has to have garlic for me. Um, okay, just mix it up and then get your lid. Oh, I forgot. Himalayan pink salt. I'm gonna add that. Yummers. And then I'm gonna add some oregano. Don't have exact measurements, just taste it as however you guys want to. Some Italian seasoning. And some ground pepper. And mix it up. And, oh, I'm sorry. And onion powder. I love onion powder. It's a little dry. I mean, it's a little sticky because of the heat. And some paprika. Just to give it a little extra little touch. And ground turmeric. Just a little bit. Ground turmeric is a little too strong. And I don't want it to, you know, it changes the taste. It gives it a good taste, but I don't want it to be a strong taste. Mix it all up. Let it boil. Because it does have the juices of the, the tomatoes. Okay. And then let's find the lid. Close it up. Leave it for a few minutes. Let it boil. Let it, let it cook. And then taste it. Mm, I think it needs a little bit more salt. Himalayan salt is very healthy, so it's not too bad to put a little more. Let's see. Okay, I think it's ready to be closed. I mean, put the lid on. And now, let's start prepping our little containers. So I'm putting half a cup of brown rice quinoa in each one. And now I'm going to add the chicken. I mean, I'm sorry, the ground turkey. And I do not measure, I do not weigh. I just do like maybe two tablespoons, I mean two spoons of uh, ground turkey for each tray. And there goes my asparagus. A little bit of each. I mean, a little bit for each container. And there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, try it out. You'll love the recipe. And um, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And you guys have a good day. Bye.